so as many of you guys know, um, I have a six-year-old daughter, soon to be seven. She's in first grade. She loves to be read to. She gets really lazy when she needs to read. So um, I have another friend who told me that she started this book club and her kids are in high school, middle school and high school. But, um, oh, barely arts. <laughs> It's so funny. I can't, I can't miss that comment with my name with exclamation marks. But anyway, so she has a middle schooler and a high schooler, and they started this book club and during the pandemic. And she said it's great because her kids actually read 12 extra books a year. They actually discuss it and love it and have a lot of fun, and the parents get to join as well. Um, so I wanted to do a book club. My husband and I are avid readers. And so I want her to also enjoy reading as much as we do. And then, um, you know, in school, it's kind of hard to participate. You kind of participate because you have partici participation points. Um, but you also don't want to say anything embarrassing um, and all of that. So I wanted to give her this uh, this space to kind of say whatever comes to mind and not feel embarrassed, be with four other friends that she's comfortable with. And um, I don't know, I, it's, it's always been like uh, my dream to be a teacher. So anyway, uh, I go on, so I, we pick a book. This is only our second book. This, this book is The Smart Cookie. So you guys may have already read it. I haven't read it yet, um, but the book, I think I am still waiting for it to arrive. So I've only seen the cover on Amazon, but um, the book is this cookie doesn't feel like she's smart. She feels um, probably insignificant next to other smart cookies and whatever. So I thought it was a good message too. My daughter comes home with like crazy comments. They're only in first grade. Um, so anyway, let's get started. I'm going to lower this a little bit more so you can kind of see. I am in love with these little milk cartons. Uh, this is from, I got the SVG file on Etsy uh, through Nomara Quintella's uh, page, and I absolutely love her designs. Um, I use them for the 3D letters, which, oh, you can actually see it behind me. Um, I love her letters. The files are really well made, well designed. They, you know, that has never steered me wrong. And so I went and got this one and look at how cute this is. And you're gonna see how easy it is to put it together. So we are doing, <clears throat> every kid in the book club is going to get the book and a little milk carton like this filled with cookies inside, right? And we're gonna decorate the outside. The outside is going to look very similar to the actual book. So it's gonna look like a bakery uh, with an awning and uh, the actual cookie. So let me see if you can see the cookie here. So here's a little cookie. It's just so stinking cute. So um, I don't know, I'm hoping that like in this follower group that you guys are gonna start book clubs as well. I mean, I, make, I my daughter absolutely loved dropping off the Pringles can last month. We did, um, creepy pair of underwear <laughs> and it was a lot of fun I went on teachers pay teachers to um, buy the discussion like you know all the worksheets and stuff so it was just a lot of fun the kids um, you know we practiced how to spell certain words we added vocab words I don't know it was just a lot of fun all right so what you need for this project um, did I okay yeah is barely art glue so i don't know if andrea is still on but uh you know here's the glue it's great for this project as well as many other projects because it dries really quickly um, it gives you just enough time to make the adjustments and then um and then it dries and it's not messy so here is the actual file it cuts out like this um with the two files that i've done like you know the 3d letters and now this milk box I always like where she has the score lines, I actually use the cut lines. So it's cutting little dashes. It makes it so much easier to fold. All right, so you're going to love how easy it is to do this um, to do this file. So wherever you have your score lines or your cut lines, 
you're going to want to fold it and then you're going to see how quick it is to put this thing together. Um, and if anyone on here has a recommendation for the next book, I would love that as well. Okay, so the first thing is these little tabs right here. This is where the glue goes so that we can close up this little box like so, okay? So I'm just gonna do one more, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here. And I know that I'm putting cookies in here, but after I put this down, I'll show you the one that I already did last uh, last week. So here's the glue. I'm just gonna press it down and everything lines up. So it's really easy to get this all squared away. And then I like to hold it down while it's, while it's drying, um, just to make sure that everything is anchored and lined up, so. And once it dries, and sometimes if I'm doing a lot of these at once, what I will do is I will grab a paper clip and stick the paper clip in here so that it holds the tab in place while it's drying. But since we're just talking and I don't have a real purpose today <laughs> other than uh, crafting with you and just talking. So <clears throat> All right, I'm going to put this down and I'm going to show you this one. So in this one, this is using a 12 by 12 cardstock. So um, it holds, let me grab my ruler so I can measure how much space you can have. So I maxed out the, um, the image to fit a 12 by 12 piece. So with that, you end up getting um, almost three inches wide this way and almost, so about two and three quarters this way and three and three quarters this way. So it holds quite a bit. It, like you can see inside, this is just like a bunch of chocolate. It can hold a lot, so it's perfect for, for a favor bag. And then this is not glued down or anything. This is just folded, but look, it's not going anywhere. So I feel like this is really stable. This is about 80 pound cardstock. So um, you could, you know, like if you were really worried, I would glue from the inside and just let it dry and then put your stuff in. But really like, I've had this for a week now and I've been testing it and jiggling it and stuff. It's great. So, all right. This is done. All right, so you're ready to see how easy this folds up. So you're going to put, let's see, which way did I put it before? You're gonna put this down, the one with the square in it. Put these two, you fold it in like this, and then this will tuck in. That's it. So, so far you saw me, Fold up the lines, right? And then that's your box, okay? And then up here, it's brilliant. She has like two little um, V lines or like a triangle. So it's gonna fold like this. So you pop it in. I mean, seriously, right? It's the cutest thing. And that's it. And then you can put ribbon through here. So I'm actually obviously not gonna put the ribbon through it, but let's work on all the fun stuff. So I have, I cut out everything yesterday and this is way extra. Like, I mean, I don't know if you can see all my little confetti, like the sprinkles for the cookie. Um, and then, okay, this is the cool part. So I don't, you can tell how small this is, right? So, you know, I'm really loyal to the brands because once I find something that works really well, like I'm all about it. This is Polytape HTV, which you can get um, at Vinyl Outlet. Um, I have a bunch of links, so you can always go to my profile and see that. Um, this is so small, and I didn't think it was gonna work, so this was actually the first thing I cut to see if I can even make it work. I wanted to put, we're making little books, and it's gonna say, I know the book is called The Smart Cookie, but this is sort of like affirmations. I'm gonna have the, 
each one of the milk cartons is going to have a book with their name on it and it's going to say i am a smart cookie by and then the girl's name so this is what i had cut out i mean look how tiny it is these letters would fit on my fingernail and i have the reel it's going to post today i literally um, I used the little pick just to get the corner up and then I peeled it all off. I didn't have to use anything to keep the letters down. It all came out like this. Let me show you how small it is. Right? Stinking cute. Okay, so with that, I forgot. I did not get my um, little Cricut Mini out to iron it on, but that's gonna go on here. So it's gonna say, I'm a smart cookie. For instance, this first one. It's gonna say, I'm a smart cookie by Haley. It's cute, right? <laughs> okay, um, I still have my Barely Art glue. Let's start making the cookie. So actually, no, let's do the awning because the awning is so cute. So Nomara's file, what is awesome about it is it, you have the cut file for the milk carton and then she has an extra file that has all the panels so that you could do something like this where you can um you have all the measurements so you, you can slice it out so that the awning like this one i i'm gonna have a design space tutorial on how to make this in case you guys want to do it but um basically i in design space i went to images and i searched for awning and it had this one. I had to mess with the actual um, measurements a little bit, but then I I sliced it out with the piece that she had and look it, it's gonna be like a real awning. Like how cute is that, right? It's gonna stick out like this. And then here is gonna be the cookie or the book. I haven't decided. I made quite a few things. Um, so we're gonna kind of work on that. So that's gonna go like this. And then on top of the awning, I have, it's gonna be um, white and green like pieces. Look at how cute that is. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put, so it's gonna look like this. If I'm gonna put the green one on top and make it kind of stick out a little bit. But <clears throat> I am using Barely Art Glue for all of this to get it down. I'm going to add foam tape wherever I can on the cookie. Um, I'm not gonna put together the book. I'm gonna show you what the book looks like because I didn't grab my mini. So the book is in a couple layers, but they're all in like really big pieces. So it's super easy to work with, which if you know by now, this confetti is really not really my style because it's so many small pieces. I do prefer to, to work with something like this where I don't want the outline to be single pieces. I want the outline to be one big piece that I can just put down. So here is the book. <clears throat> and the book has an inside for the white as well. <clears throat> so you may say it's a little wasteful, but I mean, honestly, this piece isn't that big. <laughs> And it saves you so much time in putting it together. So the book is in three pieces, but three big pieces, and there you go, right? And then I'm just gonna iron on the, the title of the book. So it's gonna be really, really cute. Um, this is all like really thin. So I think what I would do with this is this would this will be flat. These three layers, I'm just gonna glue down. <clears throat> but the cookie, let's work on the cookie. Um, so here's the back of the cookie. Here is the little face. Now, I don't like the, the little mouth to be a small little piece, so I sliced it out of this so that my big pink piece is left over from, either you can use this one if you like this light color. It's kind of hard to see. <clears throat> or I cut like a circle so that I can put it behind and so now you can see that. So it's a lot easier than dealing with a small piece. First of all, like you can lose that piece during the cut, right? Um, if you don't, if you don't press down your paper well, and if your knife gets caught, whatever your blade gets caught, so you can <clears throat> ruin it during the cut process. You can ruin it when you're taking it off the mat, and then you can just lose it, which I've lost pieces a baz bazillion times. So this is what I would prefer to do like this instead of having a small smile out. All right, so that's down. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Um, and then the eyes, the eyes, I, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. The eyes are just three layers. And, um, you know, a lot of times, like, I like to use, you know, my special paper and all that. Um, but the colors kind of get lost when you use glitter and foil and all that stuff. Like, it really depends on the shade. So on this one, originally, I really wanted to use this green. It's really pretty. I loved it because I used it recently on one of my off the mat characters for the jewel piece like in the neck. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, but the black ended up kind of getting washed out and you couldn't really see it. So I switched out for this one and now that works way better. All right, so let's just glue this down. Um, and so it already ended. I should have done this live yesterday because I hope you guys signed up for Barely Arts Craftmas. So this is my first time doing Craftmas with them. And basically you sign up and you get partnered up with somebody and you guys create um, an ornament for each other and then you mail it to each other. So I hope you guys joined. I don't know, you know, we're gonna get our assignments soon, so I don't know who I'm gonna be paired up with. I'm excited about meeting somebody. Um, and it's for all kinds of crafters. Uh, <clears throat> oh my God, my throat. Um, because there's, uh, you don't have to do like a paper craft. You can do paper, wood, acrylic, whatever ornament you wanna make. So hopefully you guys did that. Um, all right, let's see. So here are the eyes. I know next time I'm gonna to have to ask somebody to join me so that we can have like a real conversation instead of me just talking away. Here are the eyes. I'm gonna put that on top of here. And then we're gonna add sprinkles to it. It's so cute. Um, let me see. I forgot about it. Oh no, someone didn't join the craft miss. You had three weeks. That's your fault. No. <laughs> um, I know. I Well, I'm barely art is, it, they're a lot of fun. So I know if you missed out on craft miss, at least you'll still be able to see everyone's uh, ornaments. So that's going to be fun. And then next, um, next quarter, I believe is their um, their card, you know, their card drive again. So that will be a lot of fun. So here's the little smart cookie. So cute. All right. So this one onto here, I do want to create a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to add the foam tape on here. So, um, let's do that now. Um, ah, thanks, Mita. I know. Let me see if I've missed any comments. Um, and then, so I'm going to try to do once a week, I'm going to do a live where you're just going to see me craft whatever project that I have. So I don't know. Let me know if there's a project you want to see me do live where you can ask questions. I mean, I have... I do a lot of off the mat. They're a little bit more difficult because it's hard, especially on on Instagram Live because the screen is so small. At least with my YouTube, you can I have a camera sitting on top so you can see it all the way down. But um, let's see. All right, so I'm a little paranoid with Dollar Tree stuff, and you guys can. Um, post your comments on here if you feel the same way. I'm always paranoid that it's not gonna stay um, taped down. So I end up putting a little bit of Barely Art glue on top of my tape. I know it's excessive um, and I really shouldn't have to, but I also don't want this to fall apart, so. Okay. Um, you'll see in my design space tutorial that this was just a, um, I think it was a donut. 
So a donut that ended up contouring and um, to make it into a cookie because if you guys know me, I am not good at designing, right? Like everything, every design that I do is within design space. And so we know there's a ton of workarounds and stuff like that. Like I don't know how to use Illustrator. I don't really know how to use Inkscape. Um, so I'm sure there are better ways to design, but, um, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I end up doing a lot of workarounds within design space. So this, like I said, was a donut. And so it has the sprinkle cutouts and I was too lazy to go and weld pieces into there. So we're just going to use some of these cutouts to add the sprinkles in. So I'm going to do that now and um, you know, so this is only like my third live on my channel. Um, I still want to go over my off the mat though, like a finished piece to go over some of the tips because I did that last time and then I went to go post it and it, my voice was like a cartoon character and I don't know, the video was all weird. <laughs> I, don't, I just feel like I'm too old for um, to learn, learn these tips and these social media channels, which reminds me, I know I'm still struggling on TikTok. <laughs> so here it is. I'm adding it in where all the little slits are. And then afterwards, I'm going to add it to the top. Um, see that's very using a base okay <laughs> uh yeah i tried with design space i am always doing workarounds because um you know i'm not good at designing and i have to use what's already there so on this one i did i searched for um sprinkles and cookies and donuts and stuff like that so i will show you how to oh no good thing that barely art glue dries clear because that just fell on the face and i'm using tweezers these days and i don't know if that's making my hands worse i feel like i have carpal tunnel and i haven't i haven't gone to the doctor for it yet but i know it's like all these little things <laughs> my voice is comforting that's funny i used to um when I first got out of college, I worked for a finance company and I was on the phone a lot. And uh, someone told me that I had a, uh, someone asked me if I was from Texas because I had a Texan accent, which I thought was really funny. Um, I'm not from Texas, although um, I was only three months old when we came here and um, we were, ah, uh, hold on, sorry like not really good with my tweezers right now either. Um, shoot, where are all my tools? All right, I'm just gonna have to get it down. Um, so, you know, I was only three months old when we came here. We were refugees. So um, <clears throat> they set us up with a sponsor. So we were with an American family um, out in Oklahoma. And it's, I don't know, just really, really cool. I wish we, I wish my parents kept in touch with that family. I would love to, I don't know, see how they're doing, thank them. They basically showed my parents like how to live in America, right? Like how to um, how to go grocery shopping, uh, how, to, how to drive, how to use the map, like all that stuff that we didn't have readily available in Vietnam, so. Super, super, super cool. So that's as close as I uh, ever came to living in Texas. All right, here is, so I filled up all the like the cutouts. So now I'm just going to, maybe I won't do that on here because my hands are driving me crazy. But um, I'm gonna put more sprinkles up here, just like the book. So it's heavy sprinkles on the top. And then let's go to the awning really quickly. And I think um, what I'm gonna end up doing is, well, let's put the awning down. So I know it has holes right here. I forgot to slice out the holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this down and see, it's gonna stick out like this. It's gonna be like an actual awning. I'm, it's so cute. Um, but I'm gonna tape, glue this down and then I'm just gonna use a hole punch and use the hole punch to get this afterwards. So not a big deal. 
I'm going to, um, let's just glue this down. Um, for this one, because this paper is kind of thick, um, I'm actually gonna use my hot glue gun. Um, it's stiff and I kind of want it popping up. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm actually going to put the glue gun on here and then put this on. So I already have that going. Oh shoot, I need to put in another stick. Let's see. All right, um, now that we're talking about, let me see. Let's get back to social media really quickly. For those of you guys who have a successful TikTok channel, <laughs> can you give me tips? Send me a direct message, post your comments here. I am seriously struggling. Like, I don't know what to post. Um, oh my gosh, my glue is going crazy too. Okay. I don't know what to post. Um, my second TikTok video had like, I don't know, 30,000 views. So I naively thought, oh my God, so easy. I've got this in the bag. And then my next 10 videos had like, a hundred views. <laughs> so if you have any tips on there, I would love it. All right, look it. That is stinking cute. Let's see. Okay, yeah, trending songs. Oh, I, I do that and it hasn't helped me at all. Okay, so here's the thing. Originally when I designed this, I wanted it to look very similar to the book, which the book cover had like a smaller book but I felt like the book had to be big enough so that I could fit their name with HTV on it. So the book ended up being so big. I can't decide if I'm gonna put the book on this side or if I'm gonna put the book on this side by itself because it is kind of big. I think I'm gonna do that. But that's not what I originally intended. I originally intended the book to be on this side. So then I made this cookie super big because I thought I would have it hanging on a string or something. So now the cookie, I guess the cookie could be on this side too. Oh yeah, you should be scared to uh, go on TikTok because you know I was doing research and then two hours later, I'm now like following some like hot police guy who dances to like the viral songs. I'm following, I don't know, random people. It's like a hole, uh, a rabbit hole. Uh, are all these design space? Yes, these are all design space. Um, so anyway, I can't decide what's gonna go on here. I think I'm gonna put this, let's try that. So you still need to put more sprinkles on this, but I think what I'm gonna do too, so this is gonna fold up like this, right? The book is gonna be on one side. I mean this, I, seriously, I'm in love with this Ani. Um, the book is gonna go on one side, the cookie's gonna go on one side, and on the sides, I think I'm going to glue down a few sprinkles. And then, so I haven't decided if I'm doing twine or my ribbon. I know, I'm a ribbon slut. <laughs> so, um, oh, that's so funny, your mom's obsessed with TikTok. I have not shown my parents TikTok, but they're on Instagram. Um, all right, so I'm gonna use either one of these, one of these colors. And then I wanted to probably stick a straw on too. So while they're reading the book for the first time, they can drink milk. There's gonna be chocolate chip cookies in here and they're gonna have fun reading the books with their parents. And then we're gonna have book club where we get to answer questions and kind of like do a little bit of a deep dive, get their feelings on what they're insecure about that, you know, we're all different, but good. I know. I'm. That's the kind of fun stuff that I like to do with my daughter. I'm not so good about, um, well, I'm pretty good about homework, but teaching her like on a normal basis, like to get ahead, I don't do. Um, I let school do that and then I give the extras um, and then I do the fun stuff like this that I hope I can pepper in and she doesn't realize like I'm trying to teach her stuff, like how to analyze reading a book and what to take out of it. and. Um, and all of that, but I figured it's good. So if any, you know, any parents on here, if your kids are young, I feel like it's great to start now. So I used to tutor algebra. 
So I tutored sixth grade through ninth grade um, advanced math. And, you know, it's, it's funny because I feel like with math and with reading that it's a lot easier to start out showing what you need to pick out from these things with really simple examples, right? For instance, in math, um, when you have your word problems, right? Your answer should be in a complete sentence. Your answer should have units like, okay, so your answer is 17, but 17 what? 17 apples, 17 milliliters, 17, you know, what, right? So I started doing that with my daughter now in first grade, you know, where she's, you know, the, the word problems are, um, you have five apples, you gave three apples away. How many apples do you have left? And she'll write two, but I'll ask her, what are the units? It's two apples. You know, you got it, you know, get them thinking so that it's when they do get the harder problems, they have the foundation of the beginning when it was easy. You know, sometimes it's like, why do I have to write out the equation? Obviously it's just five minus three, but you need to write out five minus three equals two so that when the harder problems come, you know how to write out your math equation. <laughs> I know, I'm a math tutor that had to come out. I feel the same way about books. So right now it's obvious who the main character is. It's obvious what the problem is, right? But that's not so obvious when you get to harder books. So if you build the foundation now, it will make sense to them later. All right, um, let's see. So I've done that. Oh, let's do, let's add the white piece here. Um, and let's talk about, so for Thanksgiving, I am only doing, and I forgot, okay, so here's the other thing. With Nomara's file, she has the score lines. I should have added the score lines to this so that I know where to fold it. But I forgot in my rush to cut everything, I did not do that. But I think I'm just gonna kind of bend it and glue it down. So let's get, I'm gonna glue this first one. And then, um, so I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been doing a lot of off the mat characters recently, and it's to showcase all the different colors in my curated cardstock line. So I know some of the characters are random. You've probably never heard of them. I haven't heard of them, but I did research because I wanted to have like really, to really showcase the, the browns. So, I recently, yesterday, I had um, Sam from Cannon Busters, and then the day before that was Canary from Hunter by Hunter. So, and I don't even know if I'm saying Hunter by Hunter correctly. All right, so here's the first one. So cute, right? Um, and I'll show you how to do that as well, because um, I had to slice out using a square, so. all things like I feel like it's just a big workaround in design space but sometimes I, I'm glad that it's clunky because it's kind of old school and with the workarounds uh, otherwise if it was advanced like Adobe and Inkscape I probably wouldn't be able to use it <laughs> so I shouldn't complain too much all right I'm gonna hold this down because I have it folded look here it's so cute it's so funny. I feel like, um, so my, my friend who is in the book club, the other mommy, she did the, the first book we did was the creepy pair of underwear. And so I used the, um, the Pringles can that glows in the dark. It was a special for Halloween. And, um, I did the, the little dome on top, the Pringles can with the, um, with the confetti and stuff. So she didn't let her kids eat the, the Pringles. Okay, I love this. So it's gonna fold up like this with the ribbon and it's gonna have their name on it. So let's see. All right, let's add some more and I'm going to, let's see. I think I have a hole puncher somewhere. I know I do, but it's not at my desk. But that's what I would do, hole punch here. Do you guys have any suggestions on the ribbon, uh oh, that popped up. It didn't dry yet. 
And I do like, so um, I don't think you can tell, but the white is Swiss dots from Basil. So I like having, you know, the different textures, the different colors. Um, with the same white, I used two different whites on here. Um, I, I just think it really adds to the piece. So I, can't. I love the, the Swiss dots from Basil though. Um, especially for white. Anytime that I'm using white, not for the eyes though, but like anytime that I'm using white, um, I like to use the Swiss dots. The other thing is if you go back onto my Instagram and if you look at Canary, the character that I did over the weekend, um, she's wearing a black suit and I did black Swiss dots and it actually looks like a suit material, which is really, really cool. All right. So let's put together, I mean, I've kind of have all the pieces. I'm going to put some, I don't know if my hands can handle it right now to put on all the sprinkles here. I think I'm kind of done um, for now. Let's see, you can never find glitter cardstock on Cricut. You're right, but for a whole year now, I don't know what they're doing. I honestly feel like they're gonna stop selling glitter cardstock paper because it's always out for a whole year. Um, so I switched over to Ground Up Creations and I've switched over for quite some time now. And let me show you why. Um, no, I have all my swatch kits. Oh, you know what? It's still in my purse because I went, I went paper shopping um, at Joann's just to look at colors. So I use Ground Up Creations. It's 300 GSM. And so it's just thick and really pretty. It photos well. Um, that's what I use these days. I can't count on Cricut. Cricut is great because their price point, right? Like you, there, if you can wait for a 50% off sale, then uh, you actually get a really good deal on their on their glitter card stock. And it, that one photos really well um, too. But um, yeah, it's, oh, it's been longer than a year. You're right. I mean, I bought so much this one time and I'm so bummed. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but the shimmer paper that I love that I use for Jasmine and I used it for a couple other characters, they don't sell that paper anymore. So anyway, that's my theory is they're getting rid of their paper. How about for the back part? Um, I do use the Dollar Tree foam. Yes. It is the best deal. It's a dollar and it cuts easily with your X-Acto knife. So that's what I use to make them sturdy. And I don't have any, oh, I do have my sugar skull right there. So that's just propped up against, it's on my table obviously, and it's propped up against that little shelf. Um, so uh, yeah, it's great for, for parties because most of the time it's at the cake table, dessert table. So um, it it's, you know, some of these I've had in my art room for quite some time. Um, <laughs> so someone called Cricut to find out about their glitter card stock and they never have an answer. Okay, I'm just gonna, I, I don't like to dump on companies, but it also drives me insane that their sold out stuff is always like up at the top too. I'm like, can you just move all that stuff away so that I don't have to filter through it? Like you have a bazillion products. Um, so let's see. Um, all right. So uh, let me know too if you guys like the idea of me going live once a week. So consistently, that is my goal is I'm going to do a project live on Instagram once a week. Am I exclusive to Cricut? Will you consider Cameo? Um, so no, I'm not exclusive to Cricut. I do have a Cameo on my desk right now. Um, but I haven't learned how to use it. It's, I know, I, I used to use it, um, the Silhouette Business Edition, solely for the offset because then you can save it as a, you can download it as an SVG, then go and upload it to Cricut because I'm so used to cutting on my Cricut. So yeah, I will be switching. I, I know I've had it for a year. I just, I, I had no excuses. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna finish this up. It was lovely talking to you guys. I'm going to come up with a different project to do next week. 
I appreciate you guys staying on. Let's see, the knife tool is the best for these characters. What knife tool? What are we talking about? Oh, you mean for the silhouette? Mm, all right. I know, I have it. I have the Pro, so it's the wide one. It's just sitting there. And my husband drives me insane about it because he'll just pop down and he thinks he's really funny. Like, hey, made anything on your cameo yet? I'm like, no, <laughs> go away. Um, let's see, the knife tool is way easier than slicing, okay. All right, I know, I gotta, I gotta figure it out. I need to sit down. Actually, I know. So for Christmas, we usually go to Pennsylvania for like two weeks and it's in the middle. I know, I hope hopefully my in-laws aren't listening, <laughs> but it's in the middle of nowhere. The first time I went, my husband, my boyfriend at the time, right? Um, he said, hey, wanna go and get a quick tour of Nancy Glow? I'm like, yeah, awesome. Grab my stuff, get in the car. And within minutes, like we were back in the house. I'm like, like what happened? He's like, that was the tour. The town literally had one stoplight, not the Poconos, because at least there's hotels in the Poconos. <laughs> there is nowhere to even stay. Like I thought, okay, well, maybe we can splurge and stay somewhere really nice. No, there's nothing around. There's not even, uh, none that I can see. Um, there's sheets. I don't know if you guys are, um, oh, am I gonna finish the project on YouTube? You know, I mean, maybe I can continue, if you guys don't mind, I guess I can continue finishing this. Um, I haven't bought the cookies yet, so I'm gonna put the cookies in eventually. Um, but yeah, I guess we can do this. I'll just continue talking, but yeah. Um, so it's, let's see, so it's outside of Pittsburgh. It's a couple, it's like uh, 90 minutes, two hours from, from Pittsburgh. So it's this tiny little place. Um, I was joking with, uh, oh, my hands are so bad, but see, I'm gonna start adding little sprinkles here and there. Um, I'm gonna, you know what, let's finish up this donut. I'm gonna add more sprinkles to my donut. Um, my, we went to Christmas mass and um, I was literally the only non, um, the only non-white person there. So I was telling my my friends, I'm like, I was representing like everyone, like not just Asians, but literally everyone. So, but everyone is so nice. It just kind of feels like, I don't know, like I'm in a, in a Brady Bunch episode. Like everyone's super nice, small town feel. And it's a white Christmas, right? Because there's um, snow. <laughs> That's what I mean by white Christmas. Um, and uh, yeah, my you know my daughter loves it. Um, we one of his relatives um, has a farm with like farm animals, so she gets to ride horses. And um, you know, there's uh, I think, and I'm really bad with animals. Uh, I think they were goats and sheep. I I don't remember, but um, lots of animals, uh, rabbits, um, pet rabbits. Um, and then his house is really cool because they have corn, like a cornfield. So um, they get like a ton of deer coming through that will eat the corn. So if you are really quiet at night, you could just see them coming into the yard. Where is Levittown? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look it up. I know, so, Precious Delights, Canada, uh, laughing out white Christmas, no pun intended. I, I wrote that one time, I, I wrote on my Facebook, like headed to my white Christmas. And someone's like, oh, you shouldn't really say that about your, about your in-laws. I'm like, I literally meant snow, like that it's going to be a white snowy Christmas. <laughs> All right, and that's gonna be mine. Um, I think, 
you know what? I feel like I'm going to have to go and cut this again. And should I put an awning on both sides? I can't decide. Ah, I know. I, you know, in my head, you know, when you're designing something for the first time, like sizing isn't always right. I wish like my book, but the book couldn't be smaller because I was worried about the HTV being too small to read. But see, like the book is too big, right? So I think, yeah, book with sprinkles on top up here. I think that's what I'm gonna do, that, that makes sense, okay. So cookie goes on this side, let's put the cookie on. And actually, oh, you know what? I'm gonna use a wobble. Um, have you guys, oh, someone said both sides. I don't wanna go back and cut it. And, and then it's gonna be too big. All right, I'm gonna use wobbles. Have you guys seen these? So I, I feel bad because sometimes like I'm scrolling through Instagram and I'm just taking ideas from different different accounts. Someone recommended this, but I don't remember who. Um, so these little things like it's like a spring. So it would be prettier. Oh, you guys just be quiet. <laughs> it would be prettier. But then I would be back at the same problem, which is my book is too big and the awning is too big. So I feel like um, it will just look really, really cluttered. So I'm I'm sorry, I'm gonna do sprinkles on top on the other side with the book. Okay, so I'm putting this down um, on my cookie. Use your cameo to cut it out. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're just like my husband. Ha ha, very funny, I know. He's like, you have a, he's like, that could make your life so much easier. And then you're just letting it sit there. I'm like, mm. okay, <laughs> here is my cookie. I'm putting it down. Okay. Oh, see, this is what happened to me last time. I'm going to put, I'm actually going to put my glue gun. Because the first time I used the wobble, it came off my character. So. <laughs> Did you make the wobble? No, I bought it. I bought it on Amazon. So it's on my um, Amazon shop. Okay, so that's on one side. This side is gonna have sprinkles and the book. I know. Um, Team Cricket, I know. Team Cricket, just because I know how to use it finally. <laughs> okay, so I what I want to do is sprinkles on, on the, the side carton, sprinkles on the top right here, and then the book with the name. So the, the book is going to say, I am smart by, and then each one of the girls' names. And what happened to that little sheet? Because I wanted to show you. This is how small it is. And the awesome thing about poly tape is this will adhere to your paper in three seconds, less than three seconds actually, but um, it only takes three seconds for it to adhere um, completely. So, and look at how small that is. That is going on a book that is, it's gonna go like this. See, so I am smart, by so, and I'm gonna make them say it, and they're each gonna feel like really proud. Because I've already heard like there's um, bullying in first grade. Like, you guys don't even have anything um, to bully about, you know? It's so I want them to, I want these girls to feel confident, you know? <laughs> My daughter the other day, she asked me, she goes, Mommy, what if I accidentally fart and someone hears me? Like, so tell them everyone farts, you know? <laughs> so I'm like super worried about my daughter, you know, feeling embarrassed or whatever, you know? It's like, we're just here to have fun. Life, life is truly too short, so uh, to worry about silly things like that. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna continue. i seriously in love with this. <laughs> um, 
All right, more sprinkles, more sprinkles while we talk about other things. Um, are you guys decorating or crafting for Thanksgiving? Because I feel like I'm only gonna do one Thanksgiving project and it's going to be like a, uh, like a little place mat name thingy for the Thanksgiving dinner. Because I wanna use my little ornament, the, the, the dome, so. Um, would love ideas, but I have a lot of fun ideas for Christmas and um, Oh in kindergarten, I know I Sorry, I'm reading the comments um, With bullying it's like or just feeling left out and I Don't know. I I find that really hard because I, I Was always very social in school. So I didn't I didn't have, you know, that problem. Um, but they're in school all day. Like, it's not like I can, you know, you get bullying and it's for a little bit and you go, you know, whatever, you can ignore it. Like, when you're that young, it is all day and it's your, it's your life. Like, that's where all your friends are. That's where you spend so much time. It really makes me sad um, to see that. So yeah, I kind of want to make her, you know, like if anyone says anything, like who cares? Like you're a little punk. <laughs> and yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. So <laughs> I'm doing all I can to make sure that she is just comfortable in her own little body. Let's see, someone had Thanksgiving in October? Like what? How does that happen? <laughs> All right, this is what this side looks like. I'm gonna add it on this side. I know, just when I thought I was gonna get off with you guys like 15 minutes ago, I guess I could just stay on and continue doing this. Um, all right, you know what? I'm gonna break out my mini so I can show you how quickly this irons off. Give me one second to pull it up. All right, we're gonna heat up this bad boy. Like I don't really have that much room on my table, but we're gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna have it on two. Put it aside. And, okay. Um, I'm gonna post that reel so that you can see how easy it is uh, to weed the HTV from Polly. And, um, one other thing about Polly that I want to tell you about is, so you know the holographic or the foil that um, HTV, if you use uh, crickets, you always end up wasting stuff, right? Because it takes like three tries before you can get it right. Um, there, Polly tapes HTV for like the holographic foil stuff, it, it works just like regular HTV. So I will stand by that all day long. Okay, I'm going to cut this out. Oh, so in Canada, wow, it's October 11th. Okay, well, I mean, I, okay. I did not know that. So that's good to know because then I feel like I don't really have to craft for Thanksgiving next year. I'm not a big fan. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this down. Oh, actually, you know what? We should. I should put this border down to make sure that my HTV does not, is not impacted by that border at all. Okay, so here it is, that's down. I'm gonna lift this up, put my mat down. And because this is on paper, I don't need it to heat up completely. I, you know, it's not gonna be washed, right? So I'm just going to put it down. Okay, you saw that, right? I'm done. Three seconds. I'm not cutting out these little letters and taping them down, gluing them down, right? This is when HTV on paper is just amazing. Okay, so that was fast. And then I can turn off my thing for now before I burn myself. Okay, 
let's glue down the outers of this book. And this is when Barely Art Precision Tip um, I love. I actually always have this tip down. I don't know if you guys use any of their other tips. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry guys. So, uh, I know my parents are over and they see me talking, <laughs> but I guess decided they needed to vacuum at this moment. Okay. Um, all right, here we go. So this is what the book looks like. So cute, right? You would have done that with the sprinkles too. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. I'm putting the book, the last piece of this on, and then this will be done. So I'm going to show you what that book looks like. So I'm going to glue on this side because there are little cutouts here. Oh man, I wasn't paying attention. My book is upside down, damn it. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to cut it, oh! It should have been the other way, right? Like it should have been this way, not this way. That This, this way makes no sense. <sighs> Just shoot me. Okay, so I'm gonna have to cut out another set. But this is what this side is gonna look like. It's gonna be a book. I'm probably gonna put it on a wobble too. So the book's gonna be on this side with sprinkles all over. So annoyed with myself. <laughs> all right, so a bunch of people just joined. Let me show you what we're working on. This is from my book club, my daughter's uh, first grade book club. They're reading The Smart Cookie and we're doing a cookie. It looks just like the book cover with the bake shop the bakery with the awning and so that's what we're doing we're gonna fill this can't you reverse the side use the blank side um use the blank side oh wait a minute um i could but i just glued everything down i what could i do to make this Um, okay, so my friend just, hold on. This is important because I think you guys will like this. Okay, my friend just sent me a text that said, so-and-so deserves a Barely Art Glue Mini. All right, so I'm gonna do it. Um, okay, a crafty maid. I don't know if you're still on here, Send me a DM afterwards. I'm gonna gift you a Barely Art Mini, okay? Um, let's see. I could, what could I do? I mean, I guess I could use my X-Acto knife and cut this out and flip it around. But dang it, that's so annoying. Let me see. Mm, yeah, I cut out exactly five of everything. Peel it off and turn it over. But I can't. Oh, I still would need to cut HTV again. So the only way this would work is, all right, well, since it's already messed up, right? I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna move this out. See, that's what happens when you talk and craft. <laughs> it doesn't work. All right, let me get my X-Acto knife. Is it bad that I call it an X-Acto knife when it's from Excel Blades? Um, it's like if I use any kind of tissue paper. Oh, Crafty Maid, you, lo you lost your precision tip. Okay, I'm saying, yeah, I'm gonna gift you one. one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut this out because... Because I wasn't paying attention and I did my book title upside down like an idiot. <laughs> This is not gonna look good though, because it's... Okay. Oh man. 
I didn't cut it enough. Um, oh, okay, you're still here. Yay, yes. I will, um, just send me a, a DM though, so, because I am really bad about remembering everything. Okay. I am really screwing this up. I'm gonna have to do another one. Um, so yeah, we're, um, the other thing about book club is my daughter loves, well, she likes crafting. And then, um, you know, cause these projects are so stinking cute too. She loved dropping it off at her friend's house. They were all so excited. So just anything that I can do to get her excited about reading and okay so I, I cut this out because it should have been like this okay now I'm gonna put this back in it's bad it's bad <laughs> um let me see what I can do. I'm going to try it because I really don't want to cut everything out again. Um, this is what I'm going to do. What should I do? Okay. I'm going to kind of, I'm like MacGyvering this thing. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue gun. And then I'm going to use my scrap paper from here so that it will stay down. Not bad, right? So I am a smart cookie by Haley. So cute. All right, I'm gonna make sure that this doesn't fall off. So I'm gonna glue a little bit more right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna add, man, my, I'm gonna add the wobble on here. So it's gonna be on this side. Okay. Let me grab another one. So these wobbles, they were kind of expensive, I think. I don't remember the price. I just remember thinking you're kind of expensive. Um, but they're really cute and I've been using them on a lot of things. It really does add to, to it all. So I apologize for adding to your budget um, or increasing or taking away from your budget actually, right? Okay, I'm gonna put down a little bit of glue. But I think they're worth it. Okay. But I am gonna have to, oh, it is 11 o'clock. Okay, I'm gonna have to go soon. I'm gonna put this on and I will have the final project with pictures on Instagram, of course. Uh, where do you get them? On Amazon. So uh, these wobbles are on Amazon. They're on my shop. So if you go to amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter, um, I do have my Amazon shop pretty organized by projects. So if you like something that I've done, you can go and look at that category and find all the materials that you would need. Pretty cute. You got to look up the book. Um, all right. I'm going to go. Thanks, guys. I will see you next week on live again. Um, let me know if you want to see something specific. I don't know what I'm going to be doing just yet, um, but would love your ideas and thoughts. All right. Bye, guys. All right. How do I end this thing? <laughs> um, oh, okay. Bye.